How you doing? Can I give you one of these? Yeah. There you go. Do you know the number one cause of death in Texas? Child sacrifice. And that's what it is. We want to call it choice. We want to call it abortion. We want to call it whatever we want to call it. But the truth of the matter is it's child sacrifice. It's people killing their children to receive a blessing from Satan. And unfortunately, God's word is very clear on that. That it's curses and death that reward Don't there. Don't you think that's going a bit far to call it a sacrifice? It is a sacrifice. What do you call okay, killing right. your child? I'm not going to call it a sacrifice because they're not sacrificing. They're just murdering people. They are sacrificing. Most people, when they kill their children, they don't do it because they woke up one morning and said, Hey, I'm going to kill my kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to do it because, well, I got pregnant in school and I don't want my parents to find out. So what they do is they kill their child yeah, yeah, yeah. for a benefit. That's called sacrifice. Back in the old times, the, the in ancient uh, Israel, they used to sacrifice children to the god of Baal to receive a reward, blessings on their family, blessings on their crops. And God, that's why God wrote, blessings and curses I place in front of you. Life and death I lay before you. Cursed to those who take a reward for the shedding of innocent blood. You record in this too, that's awesome. Yeah, we, we have to because... You got a YouTube channel? Mm hmm. Oh, what, what is it? Abolitionist Society of Little Elm. I just wanted to say it's awesome that I think you're doing this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You know, most people want to say, oh, the high school, that's not a place for it. Quick? What's that? You want to type in your YouTube channel real quick? Here you go. It's Abolitionist of Square. Little Elm. I don't have my glasses. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll spell it out. Abolitionist. A B O L. Oh, you have to go slower, man. A B. O L I T I O N. No, ma'am, I'm not. I'm on the sidewalk. This is school property. I S T. I can't hear you because of her. Here, you know what? You know what? Hey, you got one of our society. You got one of our society cards? Nice language, ma'am. You got one of our society cards? We're also on Facebook, Abolitionist Society of Little Elm. A B O L I T I O N. You got it? Yes, sir. There you go. Ma'am, ma'am, up to here is the school property. Yeah, we got it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Make sure y'all know the, the rules. Thank you. Are y'all students? Are y'all part of this? No, no, they're coming over to speak to us. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Y'all planning more people? Uh, no, we've not. So, Pretty what do you... Like, well, I, I might have some of my kids. I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. what, what do you, like, not like about abortion? Like, why do what you... What do I... Why no. Do you, no, what do you not like about it? Like, why do you oppose it? It's murdering an innocent child. Are you a Christian? No. Okay. So that way, I don't, you know, I don't want to uh, speak on terms that you don't understand. Um, life begins at conception. That's science. An egg... Goes, uh, sperm goes into an egg, life begins. Life begins to multiply and grow. So a life is a life. Taking of an innocent life is murder. What about the people who argue that it does that, it doesn't? You know, like, I assume, you know, you've argued with people who say that life doesn't begin at... Well, that's going against... Right, that's, that's just because that's their opinion. It's not science, and it's not what God's Word says. Okay, you can you could say you know the sky is green. Have there been people who um, here you go, ma'am? Have there been people who have claimed to use science, like like say, oh, this is a fact. Here's like here's a scientific fact about like, oh, um, this is when children are born. That goes against what you know. Right. See, because people want to have what they want. They want their sin. So they'll say, oh, a child isn't a child until it takes its first breath. But that's not what we're saying. We're saying it is life. Okay? Life begins when the sperm enters the egg and multiplies. So one thing about abortion is that, you know, it's, I don't want to say inherently religious, but, like, it has the, you know, like, elements of religion in it. Because, you know, a lot of religions are like, you shouldn't commit abortion, things like, or, yeah. Well, it's murder. And God's word is very clear that thou shalt not commit murder. So... Apart from, you know, actually, like, two religious experts 
debating. Uh, here you go, man. Um, is this, you know, is this what you guys are doing? Mm -hmm. Are you are you basing it more on when religion or science? Well, we're Christians. We're abolitionists, and we're basing it on God. But science backs up God's word in what life is. Because if it's a religious debate, one could say that, hey, this. Religion right. That's why. That's why when people want to argue secularly, I'll argue secularly. Okay. If a sperm went into an egg and went to Mars, NASA would declare life found on Mars, and that's what it is. It's life, and taking of an innocent life is murder, and in this case, it's first degree premeditated murder. Because you plan it out, you think about it, you go get the money for it, you seek friends to support you, and then you drive and do it. Okay, so one